Hey everybody, Scott Steen with WinnersAndWiners.com coming to you from the Mark Champion Studio deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you the final deep three of the week. Uh, quick recap. Uh, oh, no, we don't want to do a recap yet. We want to talk about liking and subscribing and telling us all your picks, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, give us, give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. And as always, let us know what you're playing. Man, we had a lot of good picks out there yesterday. Um, I hope everybody was... Uh, Hope everybody got, a, everybody got down on a lot of good tales with uh, a lot of guys putting out great information. Keep doing it. I'm seeing new people out there every day, and it uh, it makes my heart swell with pride to uh, see you guys out there uh, hitting all those good picks. Keep up the great work, and if you need a little help doing your uh, doing your handicapping, don't forget to stop by and check out winnersandwiners.com and statsalt.com as they do deep dive examinations of every sporting event going on in America every single day. Basketball, both the NBA and college, as well as NHL. And, of course, uh, before you know it, we're going to be firing up a little crack of the bat, a little, uh, little MLB. So, got it all over at, those, at uh, those two websites. Don't forget to stop by and check it out. Sides, totals, derivatives, halftime bets, and, and a little sousant of props that we throw in every once in a while. So, without further ado, here we go. Let's get to it. Yesterday we went, uh, let's call it one and one. Just a uh, a bad night all the way around. I ended up uh, ended up advising everybody off of uh, the uh, of of Oklahoma City. It just I don't know that got that line just smelled to me. Um, I I double checked my numbers. We still had that capped out on our uh, on our uh, on our power rankings at about eight and a half somewhere in that neighborhood. I checked a couple other power rankings. None of them had it over nine. Um, I know that everybody was, they were uh, given uh, the fact that Gasol wasn't going to be there because he was injured and then before he got traded, but I just didn't see four and a half points for him. So we advised, we advised pass and uh, so, and of course it ended up covering. So that's all right. I hope you guys, if you guys got down on it early before, before I uh, pulled the, the, the plug there about five o'clock, good for you. And if not, that's, uh, that's the way it goes. I still think that was a positive play for us, even though it didn't work out. And, and our, our college games, Houston, uh, <laughs> they thought about trying to give it away there, up about 17 points with three or four minutes left, and they uh, they made our hearts beat a little harder than they should have as they ultimately got it uh, got it down to seven. But they uh, they held on to cover there too, and then our uh, our Cincinnati game where uh, Memphis held a six point halftime lead, and it kind of went back and forth there. Cincinnati had a nice little run to take the lead. Uh, they are uh, ultimately ended up being down five at the buzzer. Memphis had a great look at a shot for a three-pointer that would have covered for us. But uh, we haven't had the best luck with buzzer beaters today. And this one did not go in our favor. Had a nice look and it just, uh, just banged out. Um, just so, yeah, the, uh, the Iowa State, you want to make a runner behind the arc as time expires or not, uh, yeah, that's no problem. You're going to sink that. Uh, Memphis, going to have a good look. Post up, square up on that three and uh, get your shoulders in and then uh, just bang it off the rim. Yeah, pretty much the way that's going to work for us. So, anyway, we go officially one and one. Uh, not the end of the world. Hopefully, like I said, you guys were able to tail some of the other great picks that were out there and uh, get down on those. So, let's fire it up for tonight, shall we? First game I'm taking a look at is in the NBA. Uh, I'm taking a look at the New York Knicks as they visit Motown to take on the Detroit Pistons. Uh, Pistons are favored by eight and a half. Uh, went, went back and forth on this one. Uh, the Knicks have been terrible against the number and... Uh, as far as an under bet as well, they've they've uh, they just haven't been scoring a lot of points. In fact, over their last seven, the Knicks have averaged just 93.4 points per game. It's kind of like the uh, kind of like the Citadel in non-conference play. If you guys have been with us for a while, uh, that's over their last seven. They haven't hit the century mark one time over that stretch, not once. The Knicks, they are just bad right now. They've lost 14 straight. They failed to cover six of their last seven. The Pistons, they're not great, but they're good enough to get the job done here, especially at home. Give me the Detroit Pistons, or more appropriately, give me the anti-New York Knicks as the Pistons lay eight and a half. All right, uh, in, into the Ivy League we go, which is probably the closest a lot of us are ever going to get to the Ivy League, myself certainly included, as the Columbia Lions travel down to Harvard to take on the Crimson. Columbia is an 11-point favorite at Harvard, and you know what? It's kind of a funny little game here. Harvard is the better team, but they just don't do a good job covering big numbers, especially at home. They are uh, 
It's only happened twice, but they are 0-2 uh, as a 10-point plus favorite at home. Uh, they don't play great three-point defense, and that, in my opinion, is ultimately what's going to allow the Lions to hang around. They shoot well from three. They shoot average from the floor, but they do shoot well from three. Harvard just doesn't do a great job at defending the three, even at home. I think it's going to give them enough opportunities from beyond the arc to keep this game at least within double digits. Give me Columbia plus 11. And moving on, our last pick of the night. By the way, a kind of slim pickings out there tonight, guys. I wanted to, I stayed away from a lot of the uh, the NBA games where there was a huge amount of transition, where there was new players coming, uh, old players leaving. I want to let that shake out for a game or two. So we're kind of limited. And uh, yeah, a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, mid-major uh, basketball going on. The uh, the one that I found here, and this is probably gonna, this is going to be my favorite pick of the day, guys. It's a Mac pick. All right, I need a I need some kind of like a bell or a whistle that I can. It's a Mac pick. Uh, Take a look at Kent State at Akron, um, and you guys uh, you guys remember you guys remember Akron from uh, earlier as we played uh, we were we uh, we. Uh, Tried to play them against Toledo. Yeah, remember the other day when I said uh, all the numbers in the Toledo Akron game pointed to the under, but I was going to make a hero play and take the over. Yeah, we're not going to do that with this one. Um, Akron, here's some of those numbers. Akron plays unbelievable defense, especially at home. But here's what I really like about Akron: they play such a stifling defense that it's always a surprise to a team in the first half. So in conference play. They average, in the first half, 54.4 points per game. And I'm going to read these totals for you, just so you know. It's not one of those things where you've got, like, you know, a couple low ones that really drag the average down, and it's not a, it's not a, good, it's not a good look, all right? Here's the total in their conference games. 49, 52, 52, 60, 48, 57, 59, 66, and 47. That is the first half total for Akron's conference games this season. This uh, is has a total of 134. We don't have a first half out yet, but that's what I'm looking at. Based on the fact that it's 134, I'm going to guess that first half caps out, man, somewhere in the neighborhood of 63-ish. Um, I just can't imagine with that total they're going to be able to make it much lower than that. I think anything in that range, 62, 63, any, really anything north of 60 makes this a fantastic play. Give me the Akron-Kent State under uh, in the first half, guessing, uh, like we said, somewhere in the low to mid-60s. All right, so there's three picks. You know what? For a kind of a thin schedule, I don't mind them. I think we got some pretty good picks out there, guys. Get yourself down on these at the end of the contest. You know the drill. It's Friday night, man. Let's have a beer or two, and we'll watch our games at the end of the contest. We'll grab up our tickets, and uh, we'll all just head back to the window. All right, let's uh, let's do some shout-outs, shall we? Let's, uh, let's, get, let's get the, uh, like I said, we got a lot of shout-outs. I love it. I love it. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with uh, Chuck P. Chuck P. had, uh, is that, oh, I think, oh, he had, yeah, he had a parlay. Sorry, Chuck. I know he had a Green Bay and the Green Bay over. Uh, one of the two of those hit. So nice job on the, uh, on the Green Bay. But good news, he also tailed us on Houston, and that came in as well. Kyle Z tailed us on Houston. Very nice job, Kyle. He also had Washington minus one. I liked that play. That was one of the ones that I looked at. Um, it didn't quite make the cut, but good job, Kyle. Way to, uh, way to pull the trigger there, brother. Uh, Eric T had uh, South Florida, kind of a surprising team in the American. Nice job. And as well as Houston. He had uh, Memphis plus five. Would you get, you get you a little teaser there, brother? Got you a little Eric T. The T stands for teaser, my man. So he had uh, Memphis plus five. So he got a push out of it. Man, I swear to God, you are always the smartest guy in the room when it comes to those games we lose. Nice job, Eric. Uh, he also had uh, Uno, and we passed forward to the left. No, he had uh, University of Nebraska at Omaha. They took care of business. Nice job, Eric T. Uh, Eddie P., he had Hawaii. Uh, Rainbow Warriors, they uh, took care of business. They were one-point dog, and they, uh, they got it done straight up, uh, as well as Washington. And he got down on the Trailblazers, minus six. Uh, Shane, he got himself down on Arizona and Houston. Borno had Uno as well, as well as Houston. Penn State plus seven and a half. Blazers minus six. And Borno has faith in uh, Ben the Penn's Gonzaga over. And that faith was rewarded as uh, that total 
did uh, did a very nice job. Uh, it just had to clear 150, and it did that easily. Uh, Dad Head, he uh, he tailed us on uh, Memphis and Houston, so he split there. Uh, he also tailed Ben the Pan on the Gonzaga over, and uh, he had to, he had a cool little prop with Jason Tatum combined points and rebound re rebounds over 23. Uh, Tatum had I believe 22 points, 10 boards. So that total went well over. Nice job, Dad Head. Phil, he also had USF. He had Wofford, and he tailed our two college picks and went one and one. So that, uh, if my math is right, that adds to up to three and one for his night. Not too bad, Phil. Uh, Mark, he had uh, Houston, as well as Bel Belmont and Wofford. Nice job, Mark. I uh, hope, and I know he was talking about taking that. Uh, I don't know if you ended up taking the Boston Celtics or not. I was the uh, I was surprised. I actually I like that one as well. I got. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, uh, you know, it's easy to say, oh, that one won, and I tell you, I like that one. But uh, there's one that lost, and that I liked. Once I found out, I initially stayed away from it because they playing the Kyrie Irving games, where he may or may not play, and I, I just I hate that of waiting waiting to the last day. Um, but Irving, when I saw Irving was going to end up playing, uh, I kind of liked Boston in that spot. And uh, yeah, no, the the Lakers showed up. So uh, so anyway, Mark had Houston, Belmont, and Wofford. Good job, Mark. Uh, Cody L. He uh, he faded us he faded us on uh, Central Florida, and uh, he had uh, but he did fade us on the right one as well as he uh, took Houston or excuse me he took Cincinnati against the spread there. Uh, Landon he had Houston, uh, Miguel Nola he had uh, Northeastern, he had the Spurs under which we still don't have a final on that one yet, and uh, he tailed us on Houston and Memphis to split those. Uh, also had Penn State. Uh, and okay, now we're gonna find out how many people you agree, how many of you guys are gonna be doing this tomorrow, myself included. Uh, Miguel, he took the lowest under on the board that he could find, and he bet the under, or the lowest total he could find rather, and that number uh, was in the Monmouth game. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was 112. It was 115, 125. It was 125. There you go. And um, they scored, I want to say 102. I think I think it was 52-50. I know it won comfortably. So uh, there you go, Miguel. That'll work. That'll work every time, till it doesn't. But uh, no, that's why not? Why not? Do take two take a game where you know they're not going to score. Bet on them not to score. I've heard dumber ideas. So it paid off for you. That strategy, the 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 Miguel factor. It's one and zero right now. Uh, Hammered Hank Double H. He got down on Houston, hit the Zags over, uh, waiting on the BYU minus twelve, and he uh, he faded he uh, faded the our Cincy pick, so he came through on that one. Uh, Desert Gambler uh, hit Houston Wofford, a couple people on the Wafts tonight, the Terriers, I believe, if we if we've learned anything. Uh, Charleston, uh, I think they're the Charleston Chews. I'm not sure. Not, I don't know. I don't know what Charleston. I can't remember. And he took the. Uh, the Washington uh, Grunge Masters. No, the Washington Huskies. Um, I think, if I remember checking that one, I get confused with Washington State. I think Washington was up in that one. I don't know how that ended up, but uh, good luck there, uh, Mr. Gambler, or as your friends call you, I'm sure, Desert. Uh, the Divine Greek, he was ready to uh, to uh, get rid of the Uzo and get out the Dom. Uh, he tailed us on the deep three, and as we discussed, we, he went ahead and uh, he did good. He got uh, two and one. And he also took us the Gonzo over 150. Got down with Ben the Pen, uh, the Divine Greek. That's a three in one day. That's not too shabby. Uh, the astute Ardvark. He said he was a little chilly this evening or this week rather. So uh, he, you know he did okay here. Uh, he hit uh, Belmont. He hit Wofford. He did play that Celtics again. I liked it as well. I uh, did a full tail with us to go two and one. Um, and he liked he liked the OKC. And if you guys read that. Um, he had some thoughts on on Gasol, and uh, about that already being factored in. I, again, I just that was it was more of a number than I wanted to put on it, but he ended up being right. That 13 and a half, 14 was correct, and he went in and played OKC there as well. He also took uh, uh, the Zags and Calabat and and California Baptist. Is that for real? It's a recommendation. All right, very good. All right, he took uh, California Baptist, and that one. Um, so. Man, uh, that is, there, you, you got your deep dives, and then you got your subterranean stuff, and then you got your stuff where you take your elevator down, 
And then once you get to that floor, there's like a rope ladder that goes through a hole in the floor. That's where the aardvark was for that pick. Nice schnoz, brother. That is snipping out some underground grubs right there. He took the California Baptist, I don't know, fighting dunkers. I don't know what they are. Lancer. The Lancers. My God, they actually know this stuff. The Lancers, of course. Um, and the Lancers, uh, they, they got it done tonight. So uh, that's great news. Aardvark, uh, mad props, brother. Nice job. Uh, Joan, she uh, got down on uh, on the over in Gonzaga. Nice job, Joan. Well done. As she trailed, as she tailed Ben the pen. Snacks. Snacks. Uh, he needed Cincy to hit his parlay. And Cincy came in and dig and took care of business. Much to my chagrin, but much to the happiness of Snacks. So nice job on the parlay there, Sir Snacks.